I want to today go into the offices of Let Alliance, which is a company that has a product that may be of interest to you in order to give you that reassurance and confidence that the rental income you expect over the tenancy term is exactly the rental income you receive. Through the partnership that Let Alliance has with Belvoir, it allows Belvoir to offer their landlords the Belvoir Guarantee. And the Belvoir Guarantee essentially protects the landlord from the risk of rent arrears. So in the event that the tenant defaults on the rent, can't or won't pay their rent, is part paying their rent, whatever the case may be, Belvoir will pay the landlord that rent for a period of up to 15 months or until vacant possession is obtained of the property, whichever's the sooner. There's no excesses, there's no claims to make or anything like that, because that's all looked after by Belvoir. The other thing that's covered within that package is that in the event that, even if there wasn't rent arrears, if there was an event that led to a ground for possession and a notice seeking possession could be served, then the policy would also cover the legal costs incurred in regaining possession of that property as a result of a tenancy breach. And I think something else that's quite important to note, which a lot of landlords probably aren't aware of, but in the event that there is a claim on the Belvoir guarantee and that tenant hasn't paid and that tenant is evicted, there's a, there's a marker then against them because from a Barbon perspective, so let Alliance home let and rent for sure, if that tenant ever goes to try and move into another rental property again with another agent within our network, we will catch them. We will then try and trace that tenant in six, 12, 18 months time. So much further down the line, we'll try and trace them and see whether we can actually recover that debt off that individual. And I think it's quite nice to know from a principal perspective that if it's gone through Let Alliance, it's not going away. We will keep trying and trying and trying to recover that money. We'd expect landlords to be being charged probably in the region of about 3% of the rent, um, dependent on what the rent is. It might be a, you know, it might be a fixed monthly fee.